Hello everyone, this is Sonia Tony and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. And for those who are new to my channel, this channel is all about Korean culture, Korean way of life, places to visit here in the countryside, and I am a married immigrant. So my channel is also about the way of life of married immigrants here in the countryside of Korea. One of the advantages of living here in the countryside is that you will have the chance to visit places na kung saan yung mga historical movies at dramas ay di ko ginagawa. So, join me today as I visited uh, a place they call a traditional village wherein ang dami na po mga historical dramas and movies na ginawa dito. So, join me! Ako, to be honest, I'm always fascinated with the Korean traditional house, especially the roof. Ito pong roof na ito is made of straw. Pero ang ganda po tingnan is so neat. So, dito po sa lugar na ito, isang village po siya na yung mga bahay po ay maliliit lang at saka yung mga stores na ginawa nila. So, it's a community na kung mag-shoot sila, mayroong mga tinatawag na markets, mayroon din silang tinatawag na uh, prisons, mga ganyan na set up. So, napakaganda po, malinis ang kapaligiran at mayroon din pong mga restaurants na makainan po dito. This traditional village is situated near the sea. Kasi usually yung setup ng historical drama, meron sila mga sea trade na kung saan yung isang ship magdala siya ng mga uh, cargo galing sa ibang bansa or China, mga ganyan, tapos ibebenta sa seaport na ito. So, uh, ang ganda po, the, uh, they have arranged it in a manner na Ma-fascinate, ma-fascinated ka po. <laughs> I, I, I love the place. I, I really love the calmness of the sea. Ayan po, dito naman po, makikita po ninyo, yung, ito yung mga bahay-bahay at mga uh, stores na ginagamit kapag mag-ano na, mag-shooting. So, kung nakikita po ninyo, may mga picture po ito ng mga uh, movies or dramas na na-shoot po sa lugar na ito. So, I believe na kung mag-shooting sila, they will hire people, pe uh, village people to, you know, uh, gagamitin nila na magparami ng mga tao dito, magla maglakad-lakad dito sa lugar, na, <laughs> sa lugar na ito, parang masasabi mo na it's really a natural village. So, As you can see, ang place na ito is well kept by the town. Uh, this is one of the town's um, tourist spots. 
So every weekend, marami pong tao dito. And I'm glad that I came on uh, a working day. So wala masyadong tao. So maka-picture-picture maka po at maka-video-video po ang beauty ko. So look at this. It's so wonderful. It's so beautiful. I love Korean houses. Traditional Korean houses. Uh, it has its so charm na masasabi. So, dito naman po, itong port na ito, ginagamit ito sa sea trade or sometimes kung sa pelikula kaya na kailangan mag uh, war between two ships. So, dito din po yun. Okay, uh, yun sinushoot ang pelikula na yun. So, kung punta, kung sa movie na, because of the artistic artistry ng director at saka yung mga ang galing ng mga artista makikita mo po na is so sophisticated yung yung pag-arte nila maganda pero pag pinuntahan mo po na ganito na walang katao-tao ah ganito lang pala yun <laughs> so i-imagine mo na lang um, this one also ito yung store na kung saan uh, binibenta yung mga old old na mga gamit or display so, hindi ka po pwedeng umupo dyan o hindi mo po pwedeng hawakan. Uh, Tingin-tingin lang po or picture-picture lang po. Hindi po pwede. May CCTV po lahat ng area. So, makikita ka po. <laughs> so, ayan. So, I think because the roof are made of straw, every year siguro nag-ano sila, nag nag-change ng roofing para it will look uh, fresh and beautiful. Ayan po, uli ang mga pictures ng mga movies na kung saan dito ay ginawa. I'm sorry, I'm not a Tagalog. I'm an Ilonga. So, I'm so sorry. I tried to speak in, in our Philippine dialect. So, look at this. This is the textiles. Yung mga binibenta nila, mga cloth. Ayan. So, display display din po nila dyan. So, pag mag-shooting na po, marami nang may tindera na dyan, may nagbibili na dyan, at saka marami na pong taong lumalaka dyan. Of course, mga village people po yan, binabayaran po. <laughs> I assume. Inside the village, meron pong isang restaurant dito. Uh, if magugutom ka po, you have a choice na kumain ka dito sa restaurant na ito. Of course, yung mga pwede mong i-order ay yung mga Korean food, noodles. Ang um, isa sa mga favorite ko po is yung Korean pizza nila, yung tinatawag na chon. So, it comes in a different kinds of uh, Korean pizza. It comes in vegetable pizza nila or uh, vegetables with uh, seashells or ito po yung in-order namin ng asawa ko. Ang sa akin po is uh, si Mesingichon na tinatawag. Ang asawa ko naman, bibimpap at the same time wala kaming soup. So, nag-order kami ng noodles. So, yan po ang um, ang amin kinain for the day. Masarap po. And I think the price is, to some Koreans is expensive. But for me, it's still affordable. Granted na nag-pay din po sila ng rent dito sa doob. So, may pagka-pricey. Pero, kung sa tingin ko, sa tingin ko po ay very, very affordable. And the food is really excellent. Super delicious po. 
Kikita nyo po, ang bilis ko po kumain. Malakas po akong kumain, guys. <laughs> They put some shrimps, seashells, and squid in the noodles. So, it tastes so good. Parang uh, a combination of uh, sea flavor, yung ganon na, na type. And, of course, kung sinabi mong noodles, it's fast food. But, well, for, the, for, the, for lunch, yun muna. Medyo... <laughs> Medyo satisfying din po, po naman. Nakadalawang ano po kami ng asawa ko. Nakadalawang bowl of rice po kami. Naparami po kami. Aray! Nabuking tuloy kami. Malakas kaming kumain. Thank you for joining me today. Sana nag-enjoy po kayo sa pag-tour ko sa inyo sa village na ito. And uh, if you like uh, Korean culture, Korean way of life, at saka places to visit here in the countryside of Korea, you come to the right channel. So this channel is right for you. And also, if you want to see more of my escapades in this village i hope you will join me tomorrow and i will show you uh, more about this place at saka po yun ay unedited portion so medyo mahaba po yun at makita nyo po yung ganda ng uh, sea, sea view ng uh, area na ito So I would like to say goodbye to everyone. This is Anita Ni wishing each and every one happiness today and the next days ahead. Bye everyone. Sarangam nida. Annyeong.